So here's something else, too. <laughs> and I know some of you are going to get mad, and I don't care. Because you're going to tell me that you're 116th Apache. Shut up. They're already mad. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, Look, yeah, don't care. no one is justifying Trail of Tears. There were obviously there were horrible acts committed on all sides. But look, look, look. Here's the thing: the the, the Native American uh, trump card is one of those sacred cows. It's one of those third rails that nobody wants to touch. And boy, does it grind my gears. This idea that for some reason land should be given back to some common ancestral existence where people were all living in harmony. Do you know, we had one civil war here in the New World, and it was really bad and bloody. Yeah. Before the New World, it was always civil war. <laughs> Speaking to our captivated audience on Instagram, uh, AOC... <laughs> shared her feelings about her reawakening to her Native American uh, roots, heritage, and then proceeds to make a bunch of claims which are just laughable. I really, really feel you and understand you on this. In fact, I feel like one of the things that first started awakening and connecting me in a deep way to my indigenous heritage was up, connecting bitch. with the Lakota Sioux <laughs> in Standing Rock. When I was at Standing Rock, surrounded by Native Meth? people, oh. Lakota Sioux, Cherokee, all Litter. people coming together, and I looked around, it really just clicked that this is us, like, and, and the grace that they extended to say, no, you are relative, was really formative for me, um, and while we may not be and come from the same exact lineage, there is a commonality to that ancestry and it's nope. important for us to recognize that we were raised and we were told growing up that we were extinct that Tainos don't exist and it's really important for Puerto Ricans to understand that that narrative is being challenged right now so there are a few things, and we'll get to that, by the way. She's talking about these people from uh, from Puerto Rico who I believe traveled from Venezuela. But by the way, you understand the reason that you're, you were taught that they were extinct is because of leftist indoctrination. They tried to push this false narrative of a genocide, which never happened. We'll get to that. But first, oh, let's she get... She thinks she's a dinosaur. Yep. Yes. By, by the way, she's one of them, but she's extinct. I'm confused. And yes. We don't exist, honey. We are extinct. But what about us? I That doesn't matter. Well, I wouldn't mind her being extinct. She'd come up as oil. And then it's like, you know, it's perfect. It's all it just starts off really poorly. I'm surrounded in liquor bottles. So she, um, let's go to the first claim. Okay. So the first claim is uh, she refers, well, just, just listen to what she says. She refers to them as Lakota Sioux. I really, really feel you and understand you on this. In fact, I feel like one of the things that first started awakening and connecting me in a deep way to my indigenous heritage was connecting with the Lakota Sioux in Standing All right, truth. <laughs> Everyone go to AOC's Twitter. I believe it's at AOC. At AOC or at Google. And let her know that she needs to apologize because the term Sioux is considered derogatory by many of the Lakota people, just ah, to be clear. So ooh. she doesn't even have the self-awareness to be concerned about that. <laughs> oh, yeah, the bitch. The term uh, Natasu was originally coined by the French, later adopted by the English as Sioux, and it was actually, it originated from the uh, Ojibwe word, little snakes. Ah. And they were the enemy of the Lakota. So it was used <laughs> as a derogatory term. Now, I understand that there are different Sioux tribes. By the way, there are different languages, dialects, and we act as though they're, they're not even remotely similar. So this idea that everyone was communicating and trading and they lived in peace. We'll get to the war and the slaughter and the slavery in a second. They wouldn't have been able to communicate in many ways. Mm. And if you even look at the different Sioux tribes, they don't even all agree on what that is. And the Lakota often find it offensive. So right now, in trying to pander, AOC, Miss Crazy Eyes herself, cannot even stop herself from offending a group of people. By the way, I don't care that it's offensive, just to be clear. Well, yes, but Lakota means, I think, friendly, too, right? So you're completely off the board there. You're just like, oh, okay. Little Snakes. Uh, little Snakes makes sense for her. L little Snakes? Is that a new rapper? Yes. Yes. <laughs> little Snakes. Little Snakes X? Little Snakes. Little Snake. <laughs> Until he grows out of it. Then he's just snakes. Yep. Snakes? Snakes? I don't know no snakes. He goes Lil. Yeah. Then the he gets on a plane. Snake. Yeah, it becomes big snake. Mm -hmm. And then when he goes through the racial transition therapy, it becomes white snake. Yep. And he gets sued. And then that's the end of Lil Snakes. No, the point is we just gave you the Lil Snake saga. Lil Snakes on a plane. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of these Lakota on this plane. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
So here's another claim that she makes, that they uh, all share a common ancestry, which is uh. hilarious. When I was at Standing Rock, surrounded by Native people, it really just clicked that this is us. Like, um, and while we may not see <laughs> and come from the same exact lineage, there is a commonality to that ancestry. And by the way, when she says not the same exact, she means at all. So <laughs> now if you want to get technical about it, and here's the thing, it's just sort of like where we have the, the, the left wants to tell you, for example, with slavery that, well, you're not really teaching American history. Well, hold on a second. No, no, you're all, we believe that you should teach American history, you know, as it starts in America, American history. They go, oh, you should teach about the history of the slave. Okay, well then hold on a second. Now it's a matter of how far back we go because the slave yeah. trade existed before and it exists now. So we say if you're going to teach kids about slavery, you need to teach them about the West African slave trade. You need to teach them that over 90% of slaves were sold. They were not stolen. You need to teach them where slavery originated. You go, no, no, no. Well, you just want, you, then you just want to cut it off to make it seem like America is the only place that had slavery. Same thing if we're talking about common ancestry. I know what she means to say. She's talking about Native American tribes. And uh, I don't, I mean, she wants you to think that they're all living, they were all living together in peace, I guess is what she wants you to believe, that we all share some commonality. Yeah. That's not true. Now, it is true that all human beings, if you, again, change the degree, have a common ancestry. According to Scientific American, you reach a date where family trees share not just one ancestor in common, but pretty much every ancestor in common. And this is really going to piss off AOC, but beginning in 1492, you begin to see the European genes flowing in every direction until estimates are that there are no people in South America today who don't have European ancestry. <laughs> How dare you, Stephen? And uh, then she also tried to claim, uh, I guess she tried to draw another connection, didn't it? Okay. Did she? <laughs> there's so many, it's hard to keep track of them. Did she try and claim that she, something about African cultural heritage too? I don't even know what that means, but did she, we have a clip? Yes. Oh. One more thing that's also super important to note is that our culture isn't just Taino, it's also Yoruba. Um, so when our African ancestors were brought and enslaved to the island, they also brought Yoruba culture, which is why when you look at some of our most famous songs like Aguanile, oh they God. talk about Yemaya, Yemaya, oh, Shut up, Yemaya. Uh. That is Yoruba. Oh my God. What? <laughs> Just let the world burn. Yeah. <laughs> I, I quit. What's the point? She she's a drawing, right? Like those eyes. That's anime. Yeah, you would point. think. Yeah, They're getting bigger. That's like that. Uh, Steve Odenkirk uh, was the uh, the uh, thumb show. Yeah, it's just it's just <laughs> she's a little bigger and bigger. She's a little tata clacky. Quebecois, you can comment below. You know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't know what she's saying there. The point is, she wants to have her cake and be racist too. Well, she's yes. trying to you know she's trying to be uh, she's trying Native to claim American all the things and black. <laughs> There we go. What and uh, Puerto Rican? And Puerto Rican. Wasn't she Mexican before? No, no, no. Oh. She was always Puerto Rican. She might have said she was Mexican because she was so she traumatized when did. she was uh, four miles away from the uh, cages. No, four miles away from well that, or and also four miles away from the uh, alleged bomb that was going. The point yeah, is, she yeah, lies yeah. about everything. Well, she was Latinx, right? Sure. Which is pretty much a surefire <laughs> sign that she's not Latin well, anything. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand. Think that guy who wanted to stop the Uvalde shooter who was told to stand down by the police with his gun. You think he he would have been like, hey, you didn't use Latin. You didn't use my pronouns, bro. My good friend Justin's Puerto Rican. And when we were kids, I never once thought he was extinct. No, I don't. Un I don't know what I just saw. Well, you know what? Words and definitions change. There are people that vote for this person. Yes. That is the truly uh, scary part. There's people who love her. Yeah. yeah. She's yeah. popular. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's a relative term, but, uh, <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, and that very small <laughs> subset of crazy in that area of the country. Here's something else, too, and this is kind of gets us Syphilis to is popular, technically. Technically. <laughs> it's a household name. It's syphilis. Uh, and it, gonorrhea. Uh, in diarrhea. Yes. Like gonorrhea and syphilis. Don't drink the water. You know the song. Syphilis and gonorrhea, right? Maracas, what, what are you on? doing? I'm just pandering for votes. Why are you talking like that? Stop. Just let me have this. Syphilis is not Hispanic. Could be. <laughs> is it African? You're racist. You're racist. I'm doing my best. So. Where are your eyes going? They're just in a different room. Right. <laughs> Here's a claim that they, she, tries, she talks about Standing Rock. Okay. And this is something that, uh, look, when we're dealing with the Native American uh, sort of culture. 
here. And she uses the term indigenous, which I believe you're not supposed to use in that video. But I don't oh, know. No. The point is, we learned uh, indigenous in Canada. And then I came here, people told me it was offensive. You're supposed to say Native American. They still say indigenous in Australia. I don't care. I'm just pointing out the hypocrisy that they can never live up to their own rules. And it's hysterical. So she was talking about Standing Rock. Okay. This is a... a, a when I was growing up, remember, you probably learned Black Hills. This is a big yeah, thing, yeah. right? Talking about this is in Dakota. It, across, I think I don't know if Black Hills, this whole area goes across both Dakotas. I'm not entirely sure, but Black Hills, let's just say Dakota. Not the Lakota, Dakota, who she refers to as the Sioux. Yes. Um, they were demanding when I was growing up that the Black Hills be given back, yeah. right? And she was talking about Standing Rock, how we were all standing together. Okay. Here's the thing. Do we have that? As, we don't have that as a clip, do we? No, no I think we that was the previous one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So here's the truth. With that, when they talk about handing it back because we were all standing together, um, let me frame the truth in the form of a question. Let's jeopardy this. Which tribe? So they want you right now, like we're all holding hands together. We're all we're all unified. You were never unified until the evil white man came. You were all killing each other. Which tribe? There's so many tribes that have been in charge of the Black Hills over the course of yeah. what we have recorded, you know, ten thousand years. Right? You had the Manan, you had the Hiratsi, you had the, the Sanish, I don't know if I'm, presiding, if I'm uh, uh, pronouncing this correctly, resided there long before the Sioux, as far as back as 900 AD. Then you had the uh, Arikara, they arrived around 1500 AD. And then there's the, uh, the Kiowa, you had the Cheyenne, the Crow, the Pawnee. Okay. So <laughs> here's the thing. How far back do we go? Here's the thing. The Lakota... And Lakota took the Black Hills, right? Uh, took them during, the, I believe it was the late 1700s and the early 1800s. Why? Uh, well, how? The, they outnumbered the Cheyenne. Yeah. So they took their shit, just to be clear. <laughs> so you have the Kiowa, then you have the Cheyenne. So it's who do you give it back to? Do you give it back to the original tribe or the people who evicted that tribe or the people? We didn't invent evictions. We were just able to sign the notice in a singular language. That's all. We didn't create <laughs> evictions. And at least we give a warning. They just said, we have more people than you. Therefore, leave or get raped. Hmm. I'm like, I guess we'll leave. Good choice. Did, did you give them <laughs> reservations, by the way? Did you give them land to go over and hang out on? Like, we want this land, but we'll give you some other land? No. Didn't yeah. Have. And by the way, the Lakota beat the Cheyenne at that point. Do you know how? By outnumbering them. I don't, yeah. it depends where you go in the estimates. Back then it was considered a lot if there were like 17,000 to 20,000 right, yeah. right there in that area of the Black Hills. It was enough for the Cheyenne to go, oh shit. <laughs> so, it's just like that. Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> Standing on a hill. They all want to act like right now, like we invented, we invented war. war. Yeah, exactly. Our conquest. Which tribe to give it back to? Right now, they all hold hands like, yes, I'm linking arms. Wait, you're, you're the one who raped my great-grandfather. Oh, yeah, yeah. He took it how I gave it to him. Hell of a time. <laughs> well, you know, times have changed. Not much. Not much, no. We're still, I mean, once we get all, if we get the land back, you know, we're going to go back to being the large rape, large raping ones. Yes. That was your nickname, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I didn't remember. I've done a lot of math. Standing Rock. Yes. Named after me. Yes. I smoke standing rocks. I smoke rocks standing. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's go harass a kid in a MAGA hat. Oh, sounds like a party. Hey, 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 Are you hey, an hey, Italian hey. guy posturing as an Indian? <laughs> so I don't understand how the European settlers claim to that territory is any less valid than the native yeah. tribes before them who took it through violence. And by the way, we'll get to the point where uh, not all of the land was taken from the new settlers through violence. It was almost always taken through violence between tribes. Not always, but they were incredibly violent toward each other. You've heard the term tribal? You've heard that term? There you go. So here's another claim My that they make. My knows that term. Here's another claim that they make that the natives were gena that it was a genocide. They were genocided. Right. Again, I told you how many Lakota there were in Black Hills back then. Do you know how many there are today? Registered. Registered. That doesn't include the fakes who want to tell you at every dinner party that they're one right. portion asshole. Uh... <laughs> That's the portion that's not Native American, by the right, way. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The portion that's the Native line. American is the only redeeming portion of those people. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm 1 16th Cherokee and you're 15 16th prick. Yes. <laughs> so there are currently 70,000 registered Lakota Indians in the United States. There are, so we, we gen so here's the truth, okay? The truth is we genocided, and I know that's not really a term, but that's, I'm just using it. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We genocided the Native Americans. There are more Native Americans than ever. Well, then we screwed up. Yes. That'd be like after the Holocaust, there being 60 million more Jews than before. 
We're just they're just bad at their job. Genocide typically means wiping people out. Yeah. There are approximately the numbers, and it's tough to get an official count. I don't know if you know this. The natives, all the tribes, didn't necessarily cooperate in a census. Try going banging teepee to teepee, taking your life in your hands. They don't answer, and you're like, I know you're in there. I can hear you. Right. You're right. You're like three feet from me. There's a fire. <laughs> Leave yeah, it on the there's... teepee step and get the hell out of here. <laughs> the so there are approximately the 200... walls are literally paper thin. <laughs> approximately 248,000 Native Americans in 1890. Today, there are 5.2 million Native Americans, and also if you include Alaska Natives. Now, yeah. I know a significant portion of that includes people who are one portion Native American, and of course, that group does not include... I mean, it's a, almost a wonder. Uh, Elizabeth Warren... <laughs> <laughs> it's like she couldn't hit the broadside of a barn with her heritage. There's a good chance that you have some portion of Native yeah. American with you. The point here is there was a lot of intermarrying. It wasn't an intentional genocide. Doesn't mean that there weren't war. Doesn't mean that there weren't wars. Doesn't mean that there wasn't unfair play, foul right. play on behalf of the new settlers. Sure, there also happened to be foul play on behalf of all the tribes beforehand. Yeah, and they had a long chance. So when people say give the land back, I, I mean, I you know, I would just. I was just hoping, honestly, that Donald Trump would have just come back at some point, just to mind screw, like, all right, look, we are, we're going to give it all back to the Vikings. Good luck. You're like, oh, shit. <laughs> In this corner. <laughs> and they're not, by the way, you're not even native. You're si they're si Siberian. They're Asian Siberian when you look at the people here. They crossed over at the land yeah. bridge through. This idea that, what, are they just native because they were here a certain amount of time ago? My point is, no one was really native here. People came here, and then they started fighting each other, and then better people who were fighting fought them and won. Now, it wasn't only gained through fighting. This is a culture clash that takes place. So here's another truth that may be uncomfortable for a lot of people as it relates to the idea of genocide. I use this example quite a bit. You guys have heard of Manhattan? Mm -hmm. Small little place. Uh, once or twice. Yes. So Manhattan, it was purchased from the Native Americans. Okay, a lot of people don't know this. So this is something that would take, it would take place a lot. For uh, beaver pelts, it was yes. per, Well, for 60 guilders. And uh, that would include thousands of beaver pelts. That would include uh, all kinds of timber, right? They bought it yeah, for yeah. 60 guilders. There was a bill of sale. Okay, and we have the references available at lighthousecrowder.com. We have a previous show map. I don't have all the numbers in front of me, but it, it was a ton of beaver pelts. Timber was purchased. Yeah. The, uh, I believe it was the Canarsie there. There was another tribe. And what happened is they were like, well, look, we don't really have advanced... Uh, boats. We were on this island. A lot of them were living nomadically. It was a pain in the ass. And so all of a sudden, these white guys with funny colored beards showed up and they said, hey, we'll give you all of this stuff for it. And they said, okay, great. Let's go. Let's cross over there where we don't have to take a boat everywhere. We don't have to take the Staten Island ferry. You know, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> so they left. Then Manhattan started being developed and they came back. Well, you know, oh, we really like what you've done with the place. We were wrong about this pad. Imagine if you purchased a house <laughs> right now, homeowner, and then you came back to your house tonight after work, and the previous family that sold it to you were just living there. Yeah, we like what you did with our house. And you're saying, well, but I paid you for the house. No, like, no, no, no. They're no. like, yeah, but we like it now. Yeah. We didn't like it then, but we saw what you did with the plumbing. You know, you got rid of the linoleum, replaced it with granite, so we would, we're going to live here now. And you said, you can't do that. Only back then there was no police. There was nothing else to do. You would be like, now I have to kill all of you. <laughs> That's so stupid. Wait, you wouldn't do that today? That, no, that, <laughs> that kind of stuff happened all the time back then. They didn't, yeah. Certain tribes didn't have a concept of personal property, so there was a lot of trading that took place. And then there were also battles that took place, but not nearly as brutal as Native Americans were with each other. And I hate even using that term because it's a BS term. That's another yeah. claim that they make. The Natives are Native. Again, no. No, 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 no. The Taino people where she's talking about, like, we all share a common ancestry. So she's talking about the Taino, however she says it. I don't know why I said it with a Chinese accent. Anyway. Taino. Well, she did too. The point is, it's, it's about as offensive as how she said it. Yes. <laughs> they migrated to the, do you guys say Caribbean or Caribbean? Caribbean. Caribbean. Okay. I guess you could go either way, though. I've heard people say it either way. Well, I say Caribbean when referring to the Disney ride. But why? Uh, it sounds better. <laughs> All right. Well, it follows <laughs> pirates better, but if you're talking about, you know, like, if I'm like Somali pirates, right. different. The last but, time I went on that ride, I left a grumpy in the boot. Yes. <laughs> all over the sheets. So she said that the Taino people migrated to, uh, uh, she said we all share a common ancestry. No, the Taino people migrated to the Caribbean from what is present day Venezuela. Ah. Okay. Hmm. So there you go. I don't know if, it, if this is, right, you've got... 
North America, South America. Okay. Import. This is low budget. They I think came that's up. Michigan. They came up. All right. Venezuela's south. Clear enough? Now, <laughs> More let's go to all the west. But yeah. <laughs> Whereas if you look at the Native Americans who would be here in North, as you know them, they came from Asia, with the majority coming in one group. Here you go from the University College of London, reference available at ladderwithcrowder.com. Scientists have found that Native American populations arose from at least three migrations, with majority descended entirely from a single group of first American migrants that crossed over through Beringia, 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 I don't know how to pronounce it, a land bridge between Asia and America, what would probably be known as present-day Siberia. A lot of people don't think of, you know areas of Russia as Asia, but it actually is, as General Patton referred to them, the Asiatics. So the point is, no, not the same at all. Yeah. They came from different areas, and so then it becomes a matter of who was there first. By the way, why would they have left Venezuela? Hmm. That's a question that needs to be asked. I don't have the answer for you right now because I only have so much time in the day. I'm willing to bet there were some people who had to leave Venezuela for the Caribbean, because there were people back there in Venezuela who said, uh, you can be my slave or leave this place. And they said, well, we're just going to leave this place. We'll get in a boat and go out on the water and Makes not sense. know what's going to happen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Roll the dice. See what happens. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah. So this is one of those things. It's this constant, it's this constant victim. I, I mean, I don't want to even say victim complex because that would presume that there's some sort of value in being a victim to begin with. It's this constant false perpetuation of victimhood. And, and it's not even based in reality. You know, I realize that as all oppressed people, the people who left Venezuela from their oppressors and the people who were killing other people in these tribes that are completely unrelated, that we all share a common ancestry and that we need to sign the Green New Deal. More money, please. More money, please. How about everything you just said is bullshit and we give no land back whatsoever? Why? Well, because we want it at this point. And guess what? When you guys, and when I say you guys, I don't want to speak in broad strokes because I know there are so many tribes that exist and i don't want to disrespect the scalping that you did amongst each other because you guys were killing enslaving and raping each other before we came here and now there are more native americans or portion native americans than ever that's not genocide that's called winning a war and then being historically speaking incredibly gracious about it hey also send your messages to aoc on twitter because i gotta tell you she should not be tarring and feathering the good lakota people The good Lakota people, not like those Cheyenne pricks, the good Lakota people with the moniker of Little Snakes, of Sioux. They don't like that AOC. And you know what? That won't happen on my my, uh, watch. We're going to go watch a transgender on a tricycle that my father happened to record while driving down his uh, YouTube piss off. Watch Louder with Crowder live, Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.